hi everyone welcome back to another coding session so today we'll be looking on some other questions that have already come in TCS and QT before in previous years and I think this can be repeated with a slight modifications so these are the four questions that we'll be looking on the first one is a pattern again that we have looked in the first video but this one is for AP series one with a difference of seven one with a difference of six and you can see they have given the 15 term to be printed out the second one is an interesting one like we did from binary to decimal hexadecimal to decimal here they have given a number in uh, 17th place and we have to convert it into decimal and the third question is simple uh, they will give a number and it can contain maximum of 100 digits we have to just find the difference between some of the odd and even position digits and the fourth one I will say it's not tough but it's a bit tricky one uh, the thing is that they have given a random language and this is a made up language by TCS when which they will give you keywords like this which has been presented here and we have to just print it out whether it's a given keyword is a keyword or not so let's uh, start with the fourth one only so how they can repeat this question is that they will uh, give you this same thing or maybe something different uh, in the sense that they will give different keywords and ask you to print whether it's keyword or not or they will ask if, uh, you to print a zero if it's a keyword or print one if it's not a keyword like that so let's see how we can do this in python so as you can see for uh, doing this in python it's uh, very easy in one or two lines it will take so first of all we don't need to compare it like if this one is equals to break or case or continue no need of that we'll just create a list containing all the keywords see it's a strings i have taken inside list and then we'll just simply use my str sorry if my str which we are taking as input is in list so what it will check whether our input matches with each and every uh, element of this array so if it's not in that array it will print that not a keyword if it's in then it will print it's a keyword so let's execute and check if this works so I'll copy this thing on the continue and let's see what it gives see it gives keyword and if I do it for something else say maybe default and it says a keyword let me do it for something else and it says not a keyword so here you can see we have done it in a very simple way through python and in other language what you have to do you have to just again write that this or statements again and again it will be a little bit not a tough it's a bit little bit time consuming so then we'll take a look into the next questions so let's now take a look on the third question that given a maximum of 10 uh, sorry 100 digit number as input find the difference between sum of odd and even digit positions so they have given and explained it as well so 4 plus 6 minus 5 plus 7 which is equals to 2 nothing else so what we will do here let's clear this up first so we will define a function say calculate and within that we will take a num and let's say we will make it a list equals list of the num this it will convert it to an array of all the elements that are present in num so if its num is 56 then it will be converted into a list of 5 and 6 so then we will just make another loop but first let's initialize we'll write even equals equals zero odd equals zero and then we can write that for loop for i in range len my list if we get in that get in that range then if i module 2 
equals equals zero then even equals to even plus my list i and the same thing else odd equals to odd plus my i so and then we will just return so r e t u r n return odd comma even so this will just give us the sum of all the digits which are in odd and even and then we'll just uh, print out the neg uh, sorry the difference so for that we'll just take some values here odd comma even equals calculate calculate what the input so i will not write in uh, in say everything in one line you will get confused so what we can do here is we will take num equals input so as you can see here we can we are taking num as input this will be a string so while we pass it here it will still be a string and then we have to typecast it here so it will be int of my list type and the same thing here as well int of my list i then calculate now and then print odd minus even done and as simple as it that we will just execute it and let's say we are putting as 121 we are getting 0 we are giving 45 6 7 which one is given already which comes out as 2 so here you can see it's 2 so our second question is solved so this one is pretty easy you are just they are checking your intelligence nothing else uh, so let's take a look at the third one so this one this one is a very interesting thing that from we have seen from binary to decimal or hexadecimal to decimal this one is from uh, 17th base to decimal so in general what we do in mathematics is that for decimal 1 into 2 to the power 0 plus 1 into 2 to the power 1 and we just multiply the coefficient with the power of the base but in python we can do it in a very easy way let me show you how so i will clear this first and let's just keep that input line here so when we are taking this input it comes as a string now we have to convert it into an integer so what we will do it's very simple let's say from decimal version is equals to we can write it as int because we are typecasting it to an integer then we will write num that's uh, number in 17 base and then we will just put a comma and write 17 and it will change from 17 to decimal so for def uh, by default when we just write int and a number it takes this part as 10 for decimal and if we just change it from 17 then it will uh, consider it as a 17th base number so now it becomes very easy we just have to print out this decimal version variable i have written version um okay so let's execute it first and we can see that okay let's find the inputs here 1a i have written a 3 from myself okay sorry sorry let's execute it again 1a 27 so you can see it's very easy through python it will take a lot of time if you are using c c plus plus java but for python it's very simple and very fast so let's give the second input and run it again and this one comes out to be 10980 let's check the value 10980 so it's correct 
so we come to the first question which one was the pattern of AP series so we can see they have given it an explanation as well the first one is of increment 7 and the second one is of increment 6 so for even term the increment is 6 for odd term the increment is 7 so the 15th term of the series we have to find out we have to code in such a way that um, we will be able to generate the 15th term so let's code so you will define a function again so let's say norm so if norm equals equal sorry norm module 2 equals equals 0 then difference equals to 6 the first term which I am taking as a equals 0 and n equals to num divided by 2 so simple uh, normal logic for AP series so I will just return a plus n minus 1 into d and our first term is completed but this is not the thing we have to do it for else as well because if the term is negative uh, sorry in odd as in kind of 15 then we will do something else and just copy it from here now so for this will not take uh, uh, what you call the difference as 6 it will be 7 and this one will be different it will be uh, num plus 1 I have written it wrong again. Num plus 1 divided by 2. And then it will be n minus 1 into d. And so why are we doing num plus 1 is because let's say if I want to print the third one. So 1, 2, 3. So this we can see is 7, but this actually is not the third term. This is the second term of the odd series. So let's second term of the odd series is 7. So how can we convert it to an uh, means the index to 2 that is num plus 1. If we take it as 3, it's not passing through this. We'll come here 3 plus 1 by 2 by 2. So 4 by 2 is equals to n. So very simple and easy. And what you can do here, another thing is since num plus 1 by 2, they will directly convert it to an decimal so you can type cast it to an integer for no error at all and you can also do it here as well and then we'll just return uh, sorry uh, put in the driver code like num equals input so we can just type cast sorry num int input and then we'll say value equals calculate calculate of what calculate num and then print uh, sorry print value so we have to find out the 15th term so let's execute and find out the 15th term so our 15th term is 49 but I will also check whether everything is correct or not so let's print this one one two three four five six seven seventh term is 21 let's see if it's 21 or not seventh term 21 so it's correct so this is how you can do this type of questions so what will they change here later they might change this 6 to 10 the 7 to 1 and all this so the basic logic remains same they will just try to change the other things and you have to uh, like incorporate that into your code and you will be good so if you like this video please subscribe and give a thumbs up thank you